Hey guys, William here. Today we're doing a quick overview of the NeoFlex Underdesk keyboard arm. And this is from Ergotron. I bought this product off NCIX.ca for around $109. And uh, I believe right now there's a promo going on, so you can still get it at the same price. Otherwise, you can get it from the Ergotron.com website. And their official sale price is a little bit higher at $125. Under $25. So yeah, check those out if you're interested. Anyways, uh, before I continue today, I'm going to talk about the specs of this product first. So to get it out of the way. So this product can hold weight up to 1.4 kg. It is height adjustable to around 15 centimeters. And uh, it can tilt inward about 15 degrees. Now one of the main selling points of this unit is the fact that the keyboard tray is massive. So actually it's not really a keyboard tray, it's a keyboard and mouse tray and this measures to be 68.3 centimeter wide to around 22.6 centimeter in the length of the gear. So one more thing about this product is the fact that it can be bound, it can be mounted two different ways. So as you can see from the accessory um, box, you can mount it by using a vice grip here. So when you have a table surface, you put in front of the table surface, and then you, you put one screw in the back of the unit to uh, mount the unit. Or you can take this unit off completely, like what I've done here, and then mount the unit using four different four screws. So one, two, three, four. To me, it seems like this is a more secure way of doing it, but. Uh, you know, either configuration will work depending on how you want to use it. Anyways, let's look at the actual unit itself. Oh, sorry, before that, I just want to let you guys know this is the package part of it. And why I highlight that is the fact that it's so overly packed for swine like this. This is back the box comes with, and this is the side of the box. So you can see it's actually been very well packed. Oh, I was surprised when I picked up the order from the store because I was like, whoa, did I order the wrong stuff? But yeah, it turns out it's just extra protection, so that's very awesome. It's not that thing you see people overpackage their items nowadays. So thank you for that, Ergotron. Anyways, moving on with the review, this is the unit itself. So as you can imagine, this is the front of the table. So this will be the clamp that opens. There you go. So it opens like that. So for next day, it has a adjustable height of 15 centimeter. I mean that, and then it goes up to here. It can go all the way down to here. Now it does retract out. So if you see the track here, it does pull out. So, so this is about as far as it goes, which is actually pretty far. You can see that from here to here. And it goes through like that. Ooh. So think about it, it goes over front like that. And another feature of this product is the fact that it has an in inward tilt. Inward tilt. So let me just show you that really quick. Oh. Actually, it's pretty hard to show you without actually mounting this on the table. So maybe once I get mount on the table, I'll show you this. But anyways, let's do a quick size comparison for this product. Let's just say, of uh, sorry, compare this product. When it has a mouse and a keyboard put in. So, this is your typical keyboard, and this is your typical mouse, okay? So, as you can see, it is quite roomy, so you do have a lot of room to shuffle around if you need to. So, that's, I think that's the main reason why I bought this unit. Now, in terms of construction, it's pretty much all metal here. The only thing that's plastic is that the tray itself. So that's it's all very durable, very solid construction. Now of course that leads to a problem in the sense that it's a little bit heavy. So without the keyboard and the mouse on it, it's around 4.6 kg by itself already. So you can imagine if you want to use a mechanical keyboard like the Razer, uh, Black Widow Ultimate, then you may have some problem because Black Widow is already around 2 kg. So if you think about that, it's probably not a good idea 
because you only have four point of contact, four screws holding your keyboards and your mouse and the whole assembly. So, uh, like they say on the website, it's not recommended, and that uh, it can only hold up to 1.4 kg of weight. So because of that, I uh, switched from Black Widow Ultimate to the G15 second generation, which I had in my drawer for a while, and so far it's been working really well. And I think it's a really small sacrifice to make for the ergonomic trade-off that this underarm will do for me. So another thing that is not done here is the fact that it cannot actually rotate. So what that means is that you can only pull the tray out and up and push the left and right to your desire. So for those of you who are interested in getting those kind of trays with swivels to the left and right, you're probably looking at around $250 to $300 extra for those features. And I'm not too sure if they're actually that all that useful. So, you know, do some research of your own to see which one actually works out best for you. So I'm going to come back after I install the product so you guys can see how it looks like after installation. And we'll go from there. So yeah, come on. Hey guys, welcome there. back. So I've installed the underarm. As you can see, it's all started to be mounted to the table. And I'm using the four screw configuration, like I said. So it's actually mounted within the inside. And it's held up by these four screws here. Two of them on this side and two of them on the other side. So let's have a quick peek at what this can do. So as you can see, this is the lowest it will go. So that's what I mean by the 15 centimeter height adjustment. Now of course you can make it higher by adjusting the knob here. So there's a knob here on the bottom and that does all the adjustments. So if I want to make it high, I can move like that. You see it gradually goes up. It goes higher, higher, higher. And obviously something to watch out for though if you make it higher is the fact that you don't want your keyboard surface to be touching because it may scratch your keyboard and I have experience so make sure you check the weight before you push it all the way back in now another feature a headset that was adjustable is the incline so I'm going to show you guys what the incline looks like just bear with me for a moment and this is the inner incline so there you go, I'm using my shoulder to push it up there you go so you can see that now I've inclined the keyboard slightly Look on the bottom there, you can see that it's getting inclined. There you go. So, you're supposed to have a negative scope when you do your typing, it's supposed to be better for your risk. So, that's why having a feature is very much appreciated. So that's nice. And then, obviously, you can push the tray in and out, like so. So, my, I decided the furthest I wanted to go up is here. Because usually I do a lot of it closer to the table, anyways. So that's where I would like the screen to be. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. If you're looking at from the top of the table here, so part of the mess because I just installed it. So this is what it looks like installed. And say for example, this is the table. I can push it a bit here. So it won't show up on the table. Now when I need to come out, pull it out from the so. There you go. So yeah, so a little bit of quirk I found while installing this item is the fact that it's pretty hard to do it without a guide. In my case is because I already installed a bunch of stuff underneath, I really don't want to flip over my table to install this product. So I had to use the pencil. I had, I had someone to hold up the unit for me, and while they're doing that, I uh, use a pencil to mark it and then do the drilling. So that took a little bit longer. I would have preferred if they had the drilling instruction, like the ones they have for IKEA. All the IKEA products, if you look at it, they all have a drilling guideline. So for example, this piece of paper will tell you with drill and you just place this piece of paper on your table underneath your table and they'll do it for you. Now obviously this is something I I made myself. So if you guys want I can give you the instruction for it. But it's pretty easy, you just kinda match it to a hole there. And yeah.
That's something that can improve very easily. So I don't know why they didn't. But anyways, that's just a minor quirk. Another quirk I have with this product in general is the fact that you have to use a knob to adjust both the, the incline tilt and also the height adjustable adjustment. So sometimes if I want to have the same height, but I want to increase the incline, I have to loosen the bolts. So when you loosen that knob, the height and the tilt are affected. So what happened is because the product is operated by a spring here, you look underneath. You look at the spring here. Now, when you loosen a knob here, it allows the spring to spring back to the original state. So, because you loosen the knob, it's actually going to pull back both the tilt and also the height. So, that's a little bit of uh, annoyance for me if I'm adjusting the keyboard tray constantly. But yeah, that's something to keep, up, keep in mind when you guys are looking to buy this product. So, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this brief overview of the Herbertron Neo Flex on the desk arm. So if you guys have any questions, let me know and I can answer them for you. Otherwise, have a good day and thank you for watching.